Today we're going to talk about Ray Bradbury, and he was born August 22, 1920, in Waukegan, Illinois. His father was Leonard Bradbury, and his mother was Esther Bradbury. They had several uh, children die in infancy due to influenza, and so Bradbury was pampered as a child. He was the baby of the family. His father was a lineman for the utility company, and by the time he was 12 years old, they had moved to Hollywood, California. Now, Bradbury's family didn't have a lot of money, so he would go to the public library to read everything he could get his hands on. He loved Greek and Roman mythology and called himself a library-educated person. He was un unable to go to college, and so he educated himself through books. Um, he started writing from the age of 12, four hours per day, and has not stopped since. He's written hundreds of short stories and novels. Perhaps his most famous novel is Fahrenheit 451. Bradbury published his famous novel, Fahrenheit 451, in 1953. It was originally published as a short story, but then he later expanded it to a novel. According to critic Donald Watt, on the whole, Fahrenheit 451 comes out as a distinctive contribution to the speculative literature of our times, because in its multiple variations on its fundamental symbol, it demonstrates that dystopian fiction need not exclude the subtlety of poetry. Bradbury is recognized as a groundbreaker in making science fiction a respected literary genre. And in this novel, it's set in the future. Guy Montag is the protagonist, and he is a fireman hired by the state not to put out fires, but to set them. You see, in this society, people are not allowed to read books, and if they're caught reading them or owning them, the firemen come to their homes and destroy them. And so the title comes from this temperature by which paper burns at 451 degrees Fahrenheit. Bradbury's Dandelion Wine, published in 1957, is a semi-autobiographical novel based on Bradbury's boyhood home of Waukegan, Illinois, set in the summer of 1928. The title of the novel refers to the wine that was made by dandelion petals and other ingredients. In the story, Dandelion Wine, as made by the protagonist's grandfather, serves as a metaphor for packing all of the joys of summer into a single bottle. The main character of the story is Douglas Spaulding, a 12-year-old boy loosely patterned after Bradbury. Bradbury's middle name is Douglas, and Bradbury's father's middle name is Spaulding. Most of the book is focused upon the routines of small-town America and the simple joys of yesteryear. The book is episodic, and so each chapter chronicles different experiences that this young Douglas Spaulding has over the summer of 1928. Jason Reeves, a songwriter with his most recent album, The Magnificent Adventures of Heartache, was interviewed by MTV in August of 2010. He was asked about his influences in life, including the books that he likes to read. He mentioned Ray Bradbury's Dandelion Wine. He said, I think all forms of art, including life, which is the greatest form, are inspiring. Writing is especially powerful for me because I'm very visual, and Ray Bradbury paints the most stunning moments sentence by sentence the whole book through. All forms of writing influence my writing in a way, and the lyrics are a very important part of my music. I want them to be the main purpose of all of my songs. Anyone who loves feeling alive, anyone who has fallen into the shadow of growing too fast, and anyone who wants to be deeply inspired to truly live should read Ray Bradbury's novel, Dandelion Wine. Ray Bradbury truly is a writer for our times, an American icon. According to the National Endowment for the Arts, in 2004, President George W. Bush and Laura Bush presented the National Medal of Arts to Ray Bradbury at the White House for his incomparable contributions to American fiction as one of its great storytellers who through his explorations of science and space has illuminated the human condition. Is anything hiding? The sky. If only the wind saw my feet to fly. Mm -hmm. So maybe the clouds are a little shy. Mm -hmm. 
It's making me wonder mm, It's making me wonder If everything's this beautiful Beneath the pavement If everything is beautiful Inside my mind yeah.